just because we are a woman, they think we are bad players. I think that's what it's not like. I don't like it. Welcome to a very special roundtable on women in poker presented by 888 Poker. I'm Kara Scott and I'm here with poker pros Vivian Saliba and Lucia Navarro. And we're just here to share our perspectives as women in poker. So let's start with something easy and fun. What do we love about this career? Freedom. Yes, freedom. I think that's the main word. I have the privilege of working from home a lot of times. I spend a lot of time with my dog. That's a privilege <laughs> for me. <laughs> What I appreciate is I can travel as well. I can know a lot of places. When you work in another job, like a more nine to five job, that is not possible. Yeah. So for me, it's all about um, freedom and the possibility of visiting cities and people. Yeah, it does have that incredible aspect of travel involved with it as well. And a lot of the people, I mean, I've been in poker for almost 20 years and a great portion of my friends and the people that I spend time with are poker people, yeah. obviously, because this is what we do. And there's such a variety of people. But when we talk about variety, in terms of the gender balance, it is definitely fewer women. And I think for a lot of women, it can be intimidating, but not for everyone. I mean, we need to make it really clear that not all women think the same. I know there's a lot of talk towards it, but I don't really get why. I feel very comfortable playing poker with men and with women as well. Yeah. But I won't ignore women saying that they may feel uncomfortable. And I think we should make a accessible, comfortable place to all. And if there is this issue, even though I don't completely understand, it's something that needs to be addressed. I would say, like, from when I started in poker, there were fewer women playing at that higher level. But then as women have been playing and gaining more percentage of the live fields, I've seen more and more playing. I mean, in terms of kind of role models, if you want to talk about role models in poker, like Vanessa Selbs, Maria Ho, I mean, like Jennifer Harmon, obviously, kind of back in the day as well. She and was you? doing so well. Oh. Yeah, and you. Well, I'm a broadcaster. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not a poker have pro. an amazing career. Well, I've been very lucky in poker, and I'm glad to be in it. And I do feel very strongly about it, and I do think that I've seen such a massive change in the time I've been in poker, and I'm curious to know if you've seen a change in how women are represented or how many women you see in the field, any of that, if from the time you started to now. When I started, there were not so many women playing, also not so many great names. Uh, I think there is more talk about how can we integrate, how can we make it better, and I think this is great. I think actually women can benefit in the poker world because they are the minority. We have the spotlights on us, we have marketing opportunities. Um, in a way, you have it easier. Well, the question for me is like, how would it benefit poker to have more women in poker? If we're not advertising as well to women, we're not gonna bring them in. The player pools are gonna be smaller. Don't we want to have more women playing? Just because that's a larger pool of players. We want to have more people playing. And again, I don't believe the gender matter that much. I just want women, if they want to play poker, to feel comfortable and right. to be able to. I really uh, agree with you, but I think it's something about uh, of interest. Mm. We try to uh, bring more women to the, the poker, but I don't think they're interested in playing poker. Although more women play online than live. Yeah, that's true. I didn't know that they So there well. is some kind of a disconnect happening. I go back to that uh, theory that maybe it's the buying, because when you look high roller tournaments live, you also don't have 5% of women playing, and online you can play really cheap. And I think it might be somewhere around the buying. What is one thing that really annoys you about the stereotype of women in poker? For me, it annoys me massively when people are like, oh, women should all support each other in poker. And you're like, people are people. Yeah. If I think she's a jerk, exactly. I'm not gonna like go out of my way to support her. I'm also not gonna let people talk about her badly just because she's a woman. Just because we are a woman, they think we are bad players. Right. <laughs> I think that's what it's not like. I don't like it. Actually, I take this as 
and and turns out as an advantage yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, I take it as an advantage. I try. I don't like they think yeah, that. Yeah, it still doesn't feel good. Yeah, it doesn't feel good because that means that we are still like need some work here. But, yes. But I take an advantage of that as well. Yeah. I, I think we shouldn't be offended for that and just try to take more chips if people think yeah, we are bad sure. players when we're not. And I don't think uh, all reflex of societies that we see in poker to be a poker problem because yeah. of the poker world. It's just how societies are and you see this outside of poker as well. I think it's a really exciting time to be involved in poker, whether you're a man or a woman, but specifically for women as well. Like, I think this is a really good time in poker to be involved and I love seeing so many women doing well. It's, it's really encouraging, I think, for people who are watching. So thank you both for your opinions and for giving them and for being honest and for disagreeing too. I love that. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, thank you. you.